everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of the Twin Stitches Designs Podcast. My name is Julie, and I am the network designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today we are September 19th, and I am coming to you talking about everything of the Coffee House Sock Club. This is a new pattern club that came out this fall. Um, it, we had our first official um, Coffee House Sock Club last year, last September 1st, 2019, and then I decided to bring it back this year by popular demand, that you guys wanted another one and I'm so excited to be bringing this back. I have some new makers involved and I'm going to be going through each and every single one of those makers and um, kind of what they created for the club. You need to go follow all of the details. So let's get in. Next up, the Coffee House Sock Club is a three month long club that is a pattern club. So starting September 1st, October 1st, and November 1st, you will get a pattern directly into your Ravelry library and it will be a brand new design and it's going to be, um, you won't know until it arrives in your inbox, which is, I mean, come on, amazing. You get a brand new pattern um, and it's just right there that you just need to update and you can knit a bunch of socks. So you will have three sock patterns and in the club I've also included one of the previous sock patterns of last year, the Mac Macchiato Mornings. So you'll actually get four patterns. If you want to go purchase that now, I'll put the link below. It is currently on for $17 Canadian for the whole club. And starting December 1st, you will be able to purchase the patterns individually, both on Etsy, Lovecraft, and Ravelry. But for right now, it is only on Ravelry. That's the only place that I understand that I can do a full pre-order um, at that price. I definitely don't, you know, I, I want to thank everyone who did the pre-order. And I don't want to put it on other platforms because that's not um, fair to the ones who definitely did the pre-order. So thank you to every single one of you who've purchased it and have been knitting along. It's been so great seeing all of your amazing progress. And may, always make sure to tag me and use the hashtags because I definitely go through that once in a while and see all of your amazing socks. So when the I thought about the club, I first... I've worked with Lizzie Ann Yarns before. Those ladies are absolutely amazing. I've knit two of my previous designs with their yarn and um, absolutely love working with them. I had mentioned in the past that it was definitely not my last time working with them because I had them in mind for this club. Last year they released um, some fun um, coffee themes and sock yarns to go with it and I I loved them. So I contacted them this year and I asked if they wanted to be part of the club and they said, my gosh, yes. And I mentioned, I said, okay, well, you can either do like one or all three. They're like, oh no, we want to do all three. So I'm like, thank God, because I have the exact thing in mind. I have the themes and everything. Like I knew their yarn and I knew exactly what we wanted. So we chose three sock sets. We, cho we chose the chai spice, pumpkin, pumpkin spice, is it chai chai latte spice? Chai spice latte? I'll put everything down here below. Um, and pumpkin and then gingerbread. So they had sold the full kit in their shop, all three of them, and I'm they did absolutely amazing. So thank you so much to everyone who purchased from their shop. If I'm mentioning anything and they are not in the shops because I did go check and some of the things are sold out, um, please don't be upset with me. I um, have done... Uh, in my Instagram posts, I've done in my stories in my Instagram, as well as in my newsletter linked to all of their shops the day of the release on September 1st. Uh, actually, it was August 15th that I announced the club. And I'm waiting till today to post it because I actually got um, all of their samples in the mail and I wanted to wait and show them off to you guys. But I will link their shops below if you want to go and visit anything else that they have um, and support those amazing makers, I would highly recommend it. So Lizzie Ann Yarns, I received the yarn in July and started knitting up some of the samples, which are beautiful, and I absolutely love it. So I will post a photo right here of their beautiful, beautiful yarn because I don't have them in full skeins because everything's knit up and I can't really show you because, well, they haven't come out yet. Um, there's only one that came out, which is the Chai Spice Socks. So I want to thank uh, the amazing ladies of Lizzie Ann Yarns because, well, I wouldn't have been able to do this without you guys. So the second maker that I contacted was Garlene of the sick Kitchen Sink Shop. Her bags are absolutely beautiful. She had donated a bag for a giveaway and um, I thought, you know what, this year, how about let's do bags? Because last year we did uh, the yarn, uh, powder, and stitch markers. So this year I wanted it different because it was like the holiday drink editions. We need to do something fun. And Garlene 
creates the most amazing bags and she sold out of her bag. So again, thank you to everyone who purchased. You guys are the best. So this is her tag and her bags. So she did three different prints and this one was the acorn one. And I'm sure um, if you go check out in her shop, she has some bags and you can go and purchase. Maybe not these, but I mean, come on, you can definitely go and purchase, um, support her in other bags. So she has this amazing yellow zipper that matches. And I've kept this in pristine condition because I wanted to show it to you guys perfectly. Um, but now it's definitely gonna be housing some fun patterns. Um, yeah, so I was so excited when she said yes, that she would love to get some fabric, kind of coordinate with the coffee theme, and she did not disappoint. It was absolutely beautiful and amazing to see all of the bags. If I have a chance, I'm going to post a photo here of her bags that she created for the club. Her work is absolutely impeccable, really, really pretty, and it kind of has like this texture. You can hear it a little bit this texture here so that is really really fun and she always has her little logo here absolutely love it so huge thank you to Garlene for um, collaborating with this club the third maker that I brought in because there are four and is it right here let me double check oh right in front of me I'm gonna take a small glass of wine mm. A small sip of wine. We're not doing... Oh, if I did an entire glass. I may need it, though. <laughs> All right. Brianna, actually, I put a call out to see if anybody would love to collaborate for a special collaboration that I have in mind. And Brianna um, direct messaged me right away, said, yes, yes, what can I do? I want to be involved. She's an absolute sweetheart. Um, I will link her shop below. She also dyes yarn. And uh, she was coming out with some fun candles she wanted to try out. And uh, she contacted me and I thought, you know what? Oh my gosh, yes, I love candles. I thought that it'd be a really fun addition, something unique that you don't always see with um, kind of yarn clubs. And uh, so she wanted to create some scents for the fall to go along with a club that I just thought was a perfect match made in heaven. So these are the prototypes that she sent my way. I know that the ones that she released um, are, are different. The logo is different and on here. But I just wanted to show you guys and it smells absolutely amazing. So she came out with three candles. Oh my gosh. Like you see, I've already used it because I just love it. Oh, this one is pumpkin pie. So she came out with um, three of them. She came out with um, chai. Wait, was it chai? I'll put them all here below. I know that there's pumpkin pie, gingerbread. No, coffee cake was the first one. So she came out with coffee cake, pumpkin pie, and uh, gingerbread. I do know that she's gonna. she sold out of her first um, order and she's going to be doing another one. So if you're definitely interested in some fun candles, definitely go and check out her shop. I will always link them down below. Oh my god. If you know me, I'm obsessed with candles. Anything like scented, fall especially, I'm, yeah, I'm obsessed. So this has been in my office ever since and uh, I've been using it all the time. I just think it's an absolute perfect um, just to have around the house. So definitely go check out her shop. I know that she's going to be doing another round. So keep your eye out for that one. And a huge thank you to Brianna. Okay, guys, last, but definitely not least, last person I decided to bring aboard was Martha of Tough Woolens. Again, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I absolutely love hand bonds of Tough Woolens. And I contacted Martha and she said that she would absolutely love to collaborate for this club and um, how fun it would be. So she decided to do three hand bombs inspired by um, the scents. And right now I want to say that she's going to be, um, she did this for the club and I think that she'll be having the individual scents in her shop. But I do know like chai spice is one that she already had is one classic favorite that everybody has. Um, so she decided to release Pumpkin Spice Latte, Chai Spice, and Gingerbread. How stinking cute is this? I mean, come on. So let me get these out and show you what the hand bombs are. Um, hand bombs are something amazing that you can put in your project bags that you can have around um, your house. It is just some fun um, kind of hand bombs. And it has lanolin in them, which kind of um, helps your hands and the wool that you're dealing with soften. Oh my gosh. So we have chai spice. 
gingerbread, and pumpkin spice latte. She's a genius with her scents. Um, I love how they come through. Wow. I've not used these. These just arrived in the mail yesterday. Um, so that's why I'm doing this video today. I was waiting for all three of them to arrive to make sure that I could show them all off to you guys. So yes, this is the fun um, little hand bomb set. And I do know that these sold very, very well as well. So thank you so much to everybody who purchased from all of the amazing makers in the shop. You definitely um, helped this club and um, all of these small businesses. I definitely wanted to grab a bunch of ladies all together so that we can support each other, um, cross promote our shops, and it definitely helps small businesses. So thank you, thank you, and thank you so much. You guys, you guys are the best. I always tell you how amazing you are. So yeah, so all of these four incredible makers um, and the yarn um, were such a great part of this collection. I absolutely love doing this club and it's still going on. So the next pattern is coming out October 1st. So if you haven't already, definitely go and purchase that club. Um, October by far is my favorite. I'm so excited. And it definitely kind of goes with the pumpkin-ish theme, which is going to be so much fun. And uh, I'm currently working up the sample for... Um, uh, November. So again, you guys, thank you so much um, for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions about the club, please put them below and I will try to answer them as soon as I possibly can. But as always, you guys, thank you and happy knitting. Bye!